just like Chase said, Chase was basically just trying to keep him above water. Yeah. But Chase was getting pushed down as mm -hmm. it happened. I was just drinking water and done pedaling. I mean, yeah. when I got to him, he actually looked panicked. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So for today's video, we actually have a little story time to share with you. And uh, we had a pretty intense day today, so much that it was several hours later, I was headed home from the grocery store. And I was thinking, wow, I still like feel anxious. Have you just kind of felt like that all day today? Yeah, today feels off. Yeah, um, so it was weird. Yesterday we didn't film at all. I was in bed almost the whole day, didn't feel very good. Got up early today, showered, dressed, hair, makeup, all ready to go. And around 10.30 in the morning, I um, opened the side door to get the mail and Ken was right behind me so I didn't like shut the door. And because the door was left open, Dax and Tucker both ran outside and um, the geese were in the pond. Mm. So if you guys know anything about our geese situation, they had babies probably about a month ago. And while we've been trying to teach Dax to scare the geese off whenever they're in our pond, um, <laughs> we kind of, because they had babies, we're kind of like, let's just let them do their thing. Once the babies start to fly, like hopefully we can get rid of them then. And they're just a nuisance. Some of you guys have commented about this before. You understand that when you have geese, they come with a lot of poop and the poop has bacteria in it and your dogs can eat it and get really, really sick. So it's just been a huge problem. So anyways, dogs run outside. Ken right away starts yelling. We have footage from our Nest cameras that we're going to kind of share with you. It's not going to be really, really clear because it's obviously not meant to like show <laughs> be zoomed in on the pond, but um, I'm going to let Andrew take over. So what, what did you hear? What was your... So I saw Kiki initially walk outside and saw them go out and I was like, oh, it's just them like around the pond. So then I went back downstairs because I was kind of like doing work downstairs and I just kept hearing the yelling and yelling. And then I think what happened next is I heard you run out there. And then I think I heard Chase run out there. And then I actually went up again to see and I didn't notice him in the pond. Okay, so let me fill in the blanks to that point. So I noticed on the footage you did come outside like you said, looked and seen out oh, just another Dax and Tucker. Just... Yeah, they'll circle around the pond. No big deal. Um, this has never happened before where Tucker was on the very far side of the pond and decided to jump in. And none of the dogs have ever swam this whole pond. Our pond's probably what, three fourths of an acre? Oh, I don't know, it's huge. Okay. It's a I lot of swimming. I think actually it's an acre pond, isn't it? I, I'm maybe point eight or something. Yeah, it's just getting there. almost an acre. Right. Normally they go in at the beach, which is the gradual walk, swim, and come right back. So here they're in the deep end, basically. Yeah, you just jump in and it kind of drops. It's got a little gradual drop, but not, not like much. The beach, no. So right away I'm like, oh my god, this is not good. So that's when all the yelling was going on. We we're just like Tucker, Tucker. Well, we got Dax back in the house, but the problem is is I don't think Tucker understood why we were yelling at him. Like, we're, he's probably like, are mom and dad telling me to get the geese? Because this is what we've been training these dogs to right. do. And but you, normally it's just dad's action. Yeah, but hindsight, thinking about it, we're like, I really think Tucker thought I'm gonna, he loves to make you proud. He brings his toys to you, shakes his butt like crazy. He's really driven by praise. Yeah, for sure. And I really think he just was thinking that we were telling him, yelling at him to get the geese. So he would even, he got out of the pond, chased him around one side to the other side, jumped so back he, in the pond. He actually got in the pond and then got back out. Got back out, chased them. So then the geese jumped back in the water. Oh. And so he's just losing his energy. So by, by then... Not to mention the water in the pond is freezing. freezing. It's 55 degrees today. And yeah. it hasn't been warm. It's, and it's been, been raining, raining like so crazy. So it's all rainwater in there right now, which is not warm. Right. So then that's when Ken said, call Chase, we need Chase. Or go get Chase or something. So I called Chase. He's dead asleep. I'm like, Chase, 
I need you emergency in the front yard with the dogs. Please come quick. And he did come outside. So then is that when you... Well, when I came back outside, Chase was on... Okay, so Over there. he was on the far side of the pond, not the side closest to the garage. And Tucker was in basically the middle of the pond. Yeah. So that means all that stuff went on before even I got back yeah. out there. So he must have been swimming for a while yes. at this point. Chase actually was going to get the canoe or the kayak or something. Ken goes, take the kayak out to the water. Because he knew Chase would have a hard time swimming and helping this 85-pound dog. And in my yeah, mind, I'm like, pounds, not wet. Yeah, but they're wet. Uh, they're pushing. over 100 pounds, probably. So. so I'm like, there's no way he's gonna take this kayak, which flips over so easily, and chase it in there and be able to Hold drag him. Tucker out of the water. Right. Plus, the kayak hole is not even like that big. No, he would have just had to hold him and go, basically. So I was like, no, Chase, you just need to go. You need to. I don't even know. So that's when Chase ran around our pond to the far right side jumped in started going towards tucker but Tucker's... that's the thing is i didn't realize how serious it was because when i got out i thought he had just jumped in and got out there oh, because no. chase was, was still standing on the side and kick was like get the kayak get yeah. the kayak and i'm like i'm like okay tucker will probably come back soon but then you saw tucker really slowing down he was slowing like, down and then he was just, swimming in a circle yeah and i, I don't know scared. we haven't looked this up i'm even afraid to my chest is already starting to feel like panicky um I don't know if that's what dogs do when they don't know what to do. Cause I mean, he was panicked. Like, I, I can do this. No, of. that's. I just bet. It's like I just knew at that moment, like this was not going to end well. And, and I knew there's no way I could swim. I'm not that good of a swimmer. And and honestly, I'm not that great of a swimmer. Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't really swim. Yeah, that you're not much. a big water person. But so then, yeah. So, so Chase jumped. Out. Chase jumped in. And I saw him swimming, and then I, because I didn't really know what was going on, so I ran up to go grab the kayak, but the kayak's full of rainwater. Yes. So I went to go move the kayak, I'm like, this is way too heavy. And then I went to go push the... Uh, canoe? Not the canoe, the, um, paddle, boat? the paddle boat. And I was like, well, I don't know. I, and then I'm like thinking, I'm like, that paddle boat doesn't go fast, even if you're cruising. So I just basically ripped off my sweatshirt, put my phone in it, and then I started swimming out. And like, I would say for like the first... I don't know, 10 seconds I was swimming. I'm like, I'm like, man, this does not actually feel that cold. Yeah. But then I started to feel like I was breathing in ice. And what I think I must have done is I must have been trying to swim so fast that I drank water. Well, you got adrenaline. And I, and you guys were standing outside too. So you had at least got used to the weather a little bit. Mm -hmm. I literally we were... ran from the basement yeah. outside, took my shirt off and jumped in. So I was in a... 70 degree house and you're talking our pool is 40 foot long you're talking probably a hundred feet 120 feet before you even got oh yeah to probably yeah you swam pretty fast it, i i blanked out for a lot of it because what happened was chase did actually get to tucker before me but yeah. then i saw that chase was not moving tucker mm -hmm. anywhere and yeah. i saw chase like going down because tucker was not moving he was pretty much he was done. like pawing Chase, he, yeah, he was just trying to use this. Chase to keep himself above water, and Chase couldn't go anywhere. No, I think, just like Chase said, Chase was basically just trying to keep him above water. Yeah. But Chase was getting pushed down as mm -hmm. it happened. But yeah, they weren't moving. They no, were just, they and were they were stuck. still way far out in the Yeah, deep he part basically of the pond. was in the middle of the pond, so I went from. The beach, man, this is going to be hard to show. I went this way, and then I went that way. I yeah. kind of made like a triangle, because I tried to go to KK, because yeah. I thought KK thought like that was a low uh, low ground point or something. I didn't know what was going on. So I finally got out there, and I ran into Chase and Tucker. And then I, what I first tried to do is I tried to grab Tucker by the back of the neck and just try to keep him up. But yeah. then there was no way I could swim Paddle. holding him like that. So I put him on top of my shoulder and went to go swim, but then, like you said, I mean, he's probably over 90 pounds wet, so I was just drinking water, and Tucker was done pedaling. I mean, yeah. when I got to him, he actually looked panicked. Yeah. Like, he looked like, I don't think I've ever seen him look that way before. Yeah. So he looked panicked, and then, you know, KK screaming, and Mom's, like, panicking I, like, like this, I did, At some point, I don't even know when, I ran in the house and got his collar with his leash, thinking that when we finally get him out of the water, just in case, he's determined to jump back in yeah. again. I mean, he was on a mission. 
Yeah, but that was the thing is, like you said, once he started circling, I don't know what he realized. If he thought he was in trouble, so he didn't want to swim to the edge, or if he I was kind of like, he was lost, he didn't know what he was going to do, but yeah, so I got Tucker on my shoulder, mm -hmm. brought him to the rocks on the other side of the pond from where I started, and then you guys got the collar on him and you brought him back, but then I like... I felt like I started like shutting down. Like I was shaking. I couldn't mm -hmm. think straight. Couldn't and I would. Move. I couldn't catch my breath. I couldn't stand up. And like I was leaning back on my arms. And like even like Corey said, she could saw me. Like I would tilt my head back, and then I would pass out. And then as I was passing out, like from falling backwards, I'd wake back up. Yeah. And all I could feel like, and I never felt like that before, was like it felt like there was like ice. Like, I was, like, so panicked at the time. I thought there was ice in my chest. Yeah. Like, I, did, I know now that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but like, that's what it felt but like. But, like, my lungs were closing in on itself, and, like, I could not move my body. So then they're bringing Tucker back, and then Corey comes out in just socks with, like, towels yeah. to try to, like, wrap me in towels. Yeah. And then Chase actually, he actually seemed to handle the cold water pretty yeah, well. Yeah, he did. He got out, and he ran back in with Tucker and KK. Yeah. And then, like, I got up and started walking, and then KK took, KK took the um, golf, cart. golf cart out to me. I rode back in on the golf cart, and then I sat on the floor the in the room. laundry room, like, drinking hot water, and, like, Corey was rubbing my arms, but, yeah. It was insane. On top of, like, my adrenaline pumping, on top of seeing you panicked, and them all screaming, like, I don't really actually remember a lot of it, because I feel like I just, like, took my shirt off and went. Yeah. And it was, it was very weird. It was pretty early in the morning for like, for us, yeah, for, I mean, for some, this time quarantine yeah. style, like Waking we up were normally, <laughs> I probably had woke up maybe an hour before then. Yeah. And I, like I said, I was downstairs working, having a normal day and then all this went down and yeah, like I said, it's like what I told Corey, I'm like, in reality, like I didn't realize it was serious until I heard you yelling. Cause KK always has like yeah. a yelling yeah. voice. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, like KK is just upset. He's trying to get Tucker back in. Yeah. But then you were like, he's gonna try out, he's gonna try out. I don't even then really I'm remember. Like, I like ripped it off and went. And then I'm glad when you walked in, you're like, oh my God, I couldn't find your phone. It was in your sweatshirt. Cause yeah. I didn't remember taking my phone yeah. out either. I thought that for both you and Chase. I'm like, oh gosh, I'm gonna be replacing another cell phone. Yeah, cause well, I mean, just it is, yeah. Yeah, but that know. was that was intense. And like you said, it almost was like such a weird way to start the day that there's like a fog. I just now. yeah, I just felt like myself wanted to shut down for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, it was weird, but yeah, it was the first time I've had to do anything like that. And I do not consider myself a strong swimmer. Yeah. I've never thought about like being a lifeguard like most guys right, do. Right. Like I don't, I'm not interested in the water really. <laughs> and no, I took a polar plunge across the water, so. But he's fine. He, I yeah. mean, he got out and he was jumping up on KK walking yeah. back into the house. So he didn't really show anything. No, but. we put him in the garage. Well, then I was talking to Andrew, making sure he was okay. I actually ran upstairs to make sure, because I know Chase jumped in the shower, probably took a hot shower, yeah, which, which he shouldn't have send done. Send you in the shop. Yeah. Another way to fix the situation is tomorrow or the next day, whichever day, it's going to stop raining because it's been raining nonstop. We're going to put our big uh, pond trampoline in the water and the geese won't come back. They're petrified of it. Hopefully. Yeah. They haven't had babies until this year. But previous years, we've had these same two geese. They need to go find somewhere else to live. But same two geese come from like our pond to another pond nearby. And um, once we put that out, they won't come back. So fingers crossed, at least we won't have we to worry about that. Yeah. The crazy thing is, is I really, I feel so bad and, and Ken and I both feel responsible for it because all you have to do is say to our dogs, where's the geese? And they know yeah. exactly what you mean. They want to go out. But this problem has never really happened before. So it wasn't like it was I like know, you but... trained them to attack them. But they're, they were trained to go outside and chase after them. And before the babies came along, if we would tell Dax, go get the geese, he would run out, bark at them, and they would fly away. Right. We had him. And now because they have the babies. And I haven't watched the whole video yet. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see from the camera footage or even hear. A lot of what you could hear probably has got some bad language in it so i probably Emotional won't be able to language. share it all um 
However, you'll, I guess the babies were even squawking and making oh, noise and they were, usually it's just the mom and dad that are sitting there making all their noise, freaking out that the dogs are going after them. But um, Ken said the babies were even going crazy too. So you might not be able to make out who's who and what's happening, but at least get the general idea of the um, catastrophe yeah. that occurred today that could have definitely ended a lot worse and like all I could think of in my mind is oh my gosh she's gonna go underwater and not come back up like I know this is gonna sound horrible but I don't know if dogs are like humans where you like struggle or do you know what I mean like I don't even oh, know they what... just sink you mean yeah oh, I have I no just... idea I've heard of dogs like going out <clears throat> swimming and getting too far they don't start to realize that they're tired until it's yeah. like too late Oh, I just feel so bad. I don't know. I can't help but feel like it's our fault, but... I don't think it was. I think it was dogs being dogs. I yeah. mean, they can swim in the pool just fine, and they play with us, and that's never been an issue. So I don't mm -hmm. think there was any fault today. They ran out. You didn't actually let them out, so right. they just booked it. So, I mean, it was just... It was a series of misunfortunate yeah. events, really. Yeah. And luckily, everything ended up fine, and... Tucker seems fine, and I think we're winding down now, but definitely was an interesting day, yeah. to say the least, so. All right, so there's our crazy story for the day, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, also, Andrew, you want to plug your channel? Oh, yeah, I'm back <laughs> making videos again. Actually, a lot of you guys have been very supportive already, so thank you very much for that, but it's I am Drew on YouTube. I, the letter I, am Drew, and I'm trying to make videos pretty reliably. Uh, we're kind of stuck at home just like yeah. everyone else, but I'm doing the best I can and I thank you guys for supporting me so far. Alright guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! See you guys.